Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still fair. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Again, you'll have an opportunity, 12.30 to 1.30, to hear him perform in the park at First Madison Valley Bank. If that didn't give you goosebumps, you better run up to the clinic. Following the DFW color guard is June Haig, Dan Olkowski, Bill Griffin, and Vern Robinson. Association. Once again, I encourage you all to attend the rodeo this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Current president is Colin Rice, Secretary Treasurer Pat Hamilton, board members Chad Kaufman, Jeff Deaver, Boy, those are big horses. Kyle Nelson, Damn. Kurt Gwynn, Chief Croy, Mitchie Dowd. Rodeo Association for doing such a terrific job. For those of you... Here we have 
the Forest Service Northern Region Pack Train from Hooson, Montana. Now these folks have traveled a long distance to be in the Ennis Rodeo Parade. What a spectacular entry. as you find, you find your papers. Rich Morrison in 1944 Willie's MB Jeep. Steve Mayville in the 1942 Ford Jeep, PW Jeep. Rebecca Mayville, 1953 M3 DA1 Jeep. Richard Galley in the 19 Gold Iraq War, 163rd Infantry. Tom Everett in the 1972 half-ton truck. Pat, I'm going to say your name incorrectly, D-A-I-C-U, Mason. What a great representation from the military community. Thank you all for coming to Main Street Ennis on the 4th of July. We know you had lots of other opportunities. The Montana Military Vehicle Club, I believe out of Bozeman. No wonder 
look so beautiful and shiny. Lurkine's Coca-Cola, Emma Jarrett, Gracie Jarrett, Matthew Jarrett, Danny Nelson, excuse me, Danny Nelson. White demonstrator belonging years back to the Angle Hardware. Uh, Robert Fraser says anything can happen in the Wild West. What is 
is the next entry, and that is the AmeriCorps. They came to our office the other day. The AmeriCorps group living and working in Virginia City, known as Green 2. AmeriCorps gone wild. Our dress parade theme, where the West is still wild. Folks, here we have the Carlston family and the 57 International. It was sold to Mr. Sturdivant at the West Guard years ago. Bud Angle from Angle Hardware and Dennis made the sale, currently owned by the Carlstrom family. And next is the Dylan J. Sees. Many of you who are from Southwest Montana are familiar with Dylan and his rodeo. The Dylan J. Sees, Montana's biggest weekend, will have Sawyer Brown in town on Labor Day weekend. A great rodeo is put on Saturday night and Sunday afternoon, so come on down and join them. August 30th in Dillon, Montana. Yeah, folks, there isn't a better way to spend the Labor Day yeah. weekend than in Dillon at that rodeo. It's amazing. And now here we have our volunteer fire department. Uh, they'll be celebrating uh, their 100th anniversary next year and will be uh, hosting a regional uh, firefighters convention. They keep us safe. 24 7.